Hey guys, this is Sarup RJ. Welcome back to Linux in 11 minutes. Today we are going to talk about networks and proxies configurations so that we can browse and download the software in Ubuntu. Okay. As usual, I have listed the things we'll discuss today. So first, we'll discuss about the network configuration. Then we'll move on to browser configuration. Then we'll go for network proxy settings. And we'll apply to apply system wide. Then the final and more important one is terminal proxy setting. After all the settings, you'll able to browse and download all the software packages. About downloading, we can download the softwares in Ubuntu in three ways, and I'm going to talk about the details in the next video. So today we are going to talk about only network connection and proxies okay let's get on with it okay so first is network configuration go to the connection then edit connection then whether you have wired or wireless connection so let's say i have wired connection then add give your connection name rg1 and now go to IP viewers v4 setting and this is IP internet protocol version 4 setting then the method if you are using a router or an advanced network so you don't need to configure it manually I am using a router so DSCP is suffice for me DSCP stands for dynamic host control protocol you don't have to give man manually all the uh, you know fields it will automatically uh, snatch from the router okay so if you have normal settings then go for manual then here do the add then your IP address mine is okay you give your IP address then the net mask then the gateway then the DNS server okay then after giving all this click save mine is DSCP so no need to do all this then save ok then close it then here I have many profiles wired connection 1 discon uh, then this RJ1 so mine one is wired connection 1 that's why I am doing this one ok so if it will say connection established then you are uh, perfectly connected to the uh, network then first part is done the network configuration the second part is the browser configuration open the browser I have Mozilla Firefox here it won't ask this unless you have applied the settings I have already applied let me show you how go to edit in Chrome just go to the uh, go to settings then search and type proxy there then you will get the proxy setting in Mozilla go to preferences then go to advanced setting then click network here then the this connection setting so if you have you are using proxy uh, as mine was mine one was DSCP so you don't need to give manual configuration if uh, you are using manual configuration click here manual proxy configuration then give the HTTP proxy and port number here is the host IP mine is 202.141.80.80 and the port number is 3128 so apply your host IP here and your means the proxy IP and your proxy port number ok so if you are using a router or something DSCP then no need to give then click ok close the browser or you can refresh it also the next time when you are when you will open the browser it will ask for your proxy password a username and password and is and the password say now 
you can clearly browse the net okay so first part is done network configuration second part is also done browser configuration the next part is now you can browse internet but while uh, using while downloading from this ubuntu software center it will give some problems right so what you need to do go to home and search for proxy click this network okay then click network proxy i have already okay let me maximize this one i have already set this one but if you have not go to first when you will open it will be unknown go to manual then apply your proxy host proxy ip then the proxy port number and copy and paste it in all the settings right then click apply system wide and it will ask for your password use your password okay then close it so the third part is also done okay and the next part is terminal proxy setting for that get the terminal control alt and t okay then type type this thing i have written here we'll make changes to the app.conf configuration file okay type sudo because it need super user privileges super user do then type the text editor nano and all those things i am using gedit here text editor name then type the path etc then apt then apt dot co and f it will ask the password okay so here you got this thing so um, by default it will have these things what you need to do because we have already uh, uh, already set the network proxies and applied it system wide that's why it has this by default it will take your proxy host and the proxy port number if uh, your network has system you uh, network the username and password you need to give it otherwise you can leave it like that only and if your network has username and password then you need to give it just up to this give your username my name is bw.swrup then colon then the password then the password then add the rate copy this one give your username and password there okay okay this is for http this is for secure http this is for file transfer and this is for sockets okay save it and close it that's it all the steps we have done so after doing all those things you can perfectly browse the net and download all those things using this ubuntu software center or you can download manually using the command line interface i am going to talk about how to download softwares into ubuntu like this one is very simple the gui based type any software then click here and install then it will install the software but i'm going to tell you how you can download manually also and from the synaptic package manager also okay so that's it from me thank you for watching hope you liked it
and don't forget to subscribe